Tonight on Hollywood Close-Up, kid video comes of age. The audience knows who Steve, Robbie, Brian, and Gabrielle are. See how the stars are growing into their roles. So it's no surprise that a show with kids making their own music and music videos is a Saturday morning winner. Kid video is growing strong, but like its young stars, the show is having some growing pains. Kid Video is returning for its second season on Saturday Morning Network Television, but the very concept that made it so popular is forcing it to change. It was the first Saturday kids show to mix musical animated characters with the real-life actors they're patterned after. Kid Video premiered last year as the number one new children's show and third in the overall Saturday morning ratings. The trouble is that while cartoon characters can remain ageless, child actors grow up. New hairstyles, clothing, and even one band member's weight loss forced Kid Video producer Chaim Sabin to reanimate his hit show just to keep up with these young stars. What is expensive is resetting all the model sheets. And that is a pretty expensive procedure. We need about three Hollywood close-ups exclusively to me to explain why in detail. But the bottom line is that to redo all the models of the show is quite an expensive venture. Kid Video is Brian Scott. Steve Alterman, Gabrielle Bennett Rossi, and Robbie Rist. They're all several years older than their animated counterparts look, but next season, the cartoons will be catching up with reality. Last year, they had a feeling, I think, with the cartoon characters, at least, that they wanted them to look like your typical cartoon, homogenized, all-American kids. Then, now that we've started developing a following in terms of our audience and the kids wanting to see more, hopefully we'll be out on the tour, I think this year they attempted to get the cartoons to look more like the real people that we are now that the audience knows who Steve, Robbie, Brian, and Gabrielle are. I still, I still kind of look like a grape with legs. <laughs> <laughs> With its emphasis on music video, Kid Video's producer has called it the Miami Vice of Saturday morning television. Others have compared it to the monkeys of yesteryear. Except in Kid Video, the performers play their own instruments. It's a little confusing for their fans, though, when they see them live for the first time. I think that they're shocked, more or less, to see us live because they're so used to seeing us animated. So it's, uh, they're shocked. <laughs> I think part of the problem, because a lot of the cartoon characters didn't look all that much like us. There's a lot of time, yeah, they can't believe it's the same person. That's why hopefully with the cartoon characters looking more like who we are, there'll be more of the recognition of that. As kid video becomes more and more popular, the audience range continues to grow both younger and older. Hyam hopes that the show's new look will keep the trend going because cartoon makeovers cost a lot. I'm keeping the guys away from the hairdressers. No second makeover. This is it. Just as long as he doesn't try to make Peter Pan grow up, huh?